Today is my very late finale for the graveyard project pan. I have one empty. I have some progress. I wish I had made more progress on this project, but I tried. It is what it is. I've mentioned in several videos that nowadays I'm only wearing makeup two or three days a week, which makes project panning so much harder, but that is okay. Any progress is progress. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe for more. I love project panning. I am on a makeup no buy and skincare no buy which is very exciting. It's going pretty well, if I do say so myself. This project was started by Emily, who I will link in the description box. Check her out. She has come up with actually several really, really good project pans, and she has great content. So check her out, of course, linked in the description box. And let's get into this it. This project is all about items that were either in a previous project that you didn't finish, or items that have been sitting around collecting dust. And so one of the ones that has been collecting dust is this lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury, which is the Pillow Talk lip liner. I am wearing this today. I wish I'd had more progress on this, but actually the fact that I've even had this much progress because I barely used to use this lip liner. And the great thing about this project is that now I actually like this lip liner, which is kind of interesting. So that was a fun little discovery. And so here are my progress marks. Here we go. As you can see, I mean, from the intro, I have made significant progress. I wish I had made more. This was not a full size, by the way. This was a set, um, holiday set from a couple of years ago with the Pillow Talk lip liner and the Pillow Talk lipstick, which I actually really like the lipstick. Oh, and it actually came with the hydrating version of the lipstick too, and the gloss. I hated the gloss. <laughs> Everything else was great. So not a full size but you know it was probably like up to here so i think this is good progress i really do and i'm happy about it let's just talk about the next product that i put this in at the last update and i haven't used it since so that's totally on me this is the mac painterly paint pot it looks the same i've had pan on this or i guess glass bottom whatever you want to call it yeah i haven't used this once so you know, it is dry looking, but if you kind of move it around, it still works. I still like this product. I just haven't really wanted to use it. And I'm not going to force myself to use something I don't feel like using. I just don't think that's worth it. And so I'm going to keep this. I thought, should I just declutter this? But I'm going to keep it for now. See if I feel inspired to use it. It's a nice product. It's good on its own as like an eyeshadow or just as an eye primer. But... I don't know, usually I just wear my Alter Ego Clear Eye Primer, which is great. Even if I'm doing just a little bit of bronzer in the crease, I will put that on just so that it stays in place. I don't know, I think it's just easier to use. I think there's something about this like jar pot situation that it's not as like user-friendly as the Alter Ego one that has a wand and I just go doop doop, blend it out, start doing eyeshadow. I'm kind of lazy if you can't tell. So that's really why I haven't used this, but I've decided not to declutter it. At least for now, I'm going to keep it and see if I feel inspired to use it. All right, next up, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I've really enjoyed using this bronzer actually. And so I don't know that there's that much progress from the last update. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. I haven't compared the pictures side by side yet. My guess is a tiny bit, not a lot, I'm thinking, but hey, progress is progress. That's kind of my theme here. I am totally okay with that. Again, I don't want to force myself to use stuff. I don't want to, but funny enough that before putting it in this project, this had been in previous project pans, and so I thought, you know, maybe I'll declutter this. I've had this for a while. I have a lot of pan on it have other bronzers do i really want to keep this in my collection and funny enough putting it in this project i have been using it and i have decided i don't want to declutter it i still like this bronzer i've had it for a while but hey it still works i've got pan on it so that's kind of an interesting thing of this project is that this is something i was considering decluttering same with even the pillow talk lip liner because i never really used it and now I've kind of, I've re-fallen in love with this bronzer and I've fallen in love with the Pillow Talk lip liner, which I previously didn't even really like. So, or maybe I think I didn't give it a fair shot. I think that's, you know, 
the more reasonable way of saying it. I didn't really give it a chance. But now that I've given it a chance, I like it. And I like that Charlotte Tilbury formula. It's a bit like drier, a little bit like the Pat McGrath because it makes it more long wearing. I love the ColourPop lip liners, but they're more of a creamy formula for lip liners. So just something to note about the differences in the formula. But anyway, back to this bronzer. I'm glad I didn't declutter it. I, I really, really am. And the fact that I've gotten some more use on it in my book, it's a win. Okay, this next item I really was hoping to hit pan on. I didn't, but that's okay. It's the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer in the shade Macchiato, which I absolutely love. And as you can see, there is a dip going, but I don't know that it looks that different than the last update. I really wanted to hit pan on this. I did. And on the days I've been wearing makeup, I have been pretty consistently using this product. It's fantastic. I really, really love this cream bronzer. It's wonderful. And sometimes I do like underpainting with this. And then sometimes I put it on top of my foundation. I like it both ways. Today I did the underpainting and I don't know. It's, it's really nice. So I'm glad I've gotten a lot of use out of it. I really, I wanted to hit pan. I really did, but that's okay that's okay still a great product and i got good use out of it so i'm realizing that's you know since i haven't had as much progress on my projects recently because i have not been wearing makeup as often i think that just getting any use out of something that i haven't used in a while is a good thing especially i'm on no buy so i'm not buying new products i am getting some pr here and there but other than that i have not been acquiring new makeup which is a good thing because clearly i have enough makeup to use and I think just pulling something like this out, using it for a few months, realizing, hey, I've had this product for a couple of years, but I still really like it and I think it's great. It works for me. And so I think I'm trying to look at it with a different perspective than just, oh, well, if I didn't hit pan or if I didn't finish the product, it's a total failure. And I just don't think that's the case. And I'm kind of trying to change my mindset here a little bit. Um, because before, I mean, I love having empties and I still do love having empties. I just don't have as many as I used to. And so I need to get accustomed to that, but you know, it is what it is, but I'm trying to see that, Hey, using this product for a few months, even if I didn't hit my goal is still a success. But despite all that, I did have one empty in this project, which was awesome. The Colfi concealer. And this, I've had this for a couple of years and I kind of got tired of using it for a while. And so I'm glad I put it in this project. This, the only frustrating thing was I fought with this thing to get the stopper out and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get it out. And it frustrates me because I really like to get the stoppers out of concealers and lip glosses whenever I can. So that's frustrating but i used up as much as possible and i think that that's okay but yeah i mean i've like cut myself in the past accidentally while trying to remove stoppers so if it's like not going well and my hands are hurting then i will stop but usually i can get them out this has only happened to me i think like two or three times ever in my 10 12 years of project panning however long i've been doing this but anyway neither here nor there. I still used up as much as I could. I like this concealer. I just don't know that it's that much better than other concealers that I've tried. Currently, I've been using the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer, and that one I am obsessed with. It's really, really good. So I think this has, it's just slightly more dry than I would like. I'd like it to just be a bit more hydrating. It's not like cakey or anything, but it could just be a bit dewier for my preference as far as concealer goes. All right, so that is it. And I'm happy I have an empty and I feel like I made a pretty decent progress on the lip liner and even the two bronzers, I would say, even though I didn't hit pan on the Fenty one, I don't know. I still feel like getting that much use out of it for several months was still a success. So let us know how your project panning has been going. Check out Emily who created this project. Of course, I will link her in the description box. And if you like project panning videos, then check out my project pan playlists. I've got a lot of those out there. That is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.